hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to explain how to do data analysis using Microsoft Excel so Microsoft Excel is very popular software all of us might have already installed this uh, software in our computer so let me just directly go to the steps on how to do data analysis first of all uh, let's uh, imagine uh, hypothetical data so let me enter data okay with some variables like serial number gender smoking age okay so let me um, put some data on uh, this list so So I'm going to enter um, only 10 um, observations. So so this is hypothetical data with uh, some variables such as gender smoking in A's. So this is the serial number. So we have the data of 10 observations. So to do data analysis, um, there are certain tricks and tips so first of all let me just select this section so I selected this entire part in which there are variables and in which there are data so when I select this and I go to insert and then click on pivot table so when I click on pivot table then it displays the following dialog box okay so it says select table or range it automatically selects it based on my selection similarly uh, it asks us whether we want to uh, gender the pivot table to be placed in the new worksheet or existing worksheet so by default is new worksheet so I don't I don't have to do anything on this one I just click on OK so when I click on OK then uh, the next sheet is uh, generated if you see so in seed 1 you have data but in seed 2 um, you have this pivot table ok so when you see this seed you can see the variables uh, in the pivot table fields let's say you want to know um, the relationship between gender and smoking um, or you want to gender a cross tabulation um, comparing gender and smoking so let's move this um, gender in row and smoking in column so you just, you just drag and drop these variables in those respective rows and columns okay so in the values um, what you can do is you can drag that smoking so if you if you do that okay you, you can see here the table being generated so this was a comparison between smoking um, and um, gender okay so count of smoking yes and no and um, gender male and uh, female so, so there is yes no and total yes no and total so this kind of table is very easy to compare uh, gender and smoking so if you want to generate the percentage instead of um, numbers then what you can do is go to this value and then click on this value field settings okay and then here so value as so in in so value as you can select the, the percentage so you have to be very much careful on whether to choose a percentage of a column total or percentage of row total here we have um, entered um, gender in a row and uh, smoking in the columns so let's select a percent of row total okay and click on OK so what it does is 60% of the females were smokers and 60% uh, were male. 60 percent of the males were smokers so it, it generates the output in that way okay so based on this observation it uh, does the data analysis for example this is a cross tabulation okay for example you just want to know the measures of central tendency like mean um, standard deviation etc so to do that you have to 
understand uh, the type of variables you know that for quantitative data or for um, quantitative uh, variable you, you can calculate the measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion uh, measures of central tendency include mean, median, and mode, whereas measures of dispersion include standard deviation, range, um, uh, etc. So let me just do it very easily. So what you can do is you can do uh, you can type uh, is equal to sign and then A V E R A G average and then give the brackets okay and then select the data then close the brackets you can see this in the formula bar as well and then hit enter if you hit enter then it generates the result which is the average of these uh, 10 people okay so the average of the mean age of the respondents was 29.5 years similarly if you want the standard deviation let's say standard deviation of this uh, observation then you have to type is equal to then yes d d for a standard uh, standard and EV is the abbreviation for a standard deviation so this is the command that max of actual understands and then start the bracket and then select the data close the bracket you can see this in the formula bar as well and then hit enter so the standard deviation was 13.28 years the mean was 29.5 years so so this is the basic um, analysis that you can do in uh, my excerpt uh, actual hope you like the video guys uh, you can do even more this is just the overview of how to summarize the data uh, using max of actual uh, we don't need any sophisticated software to do the basic analysis uh, you can do with a little available software such as um, max of actual um, thank you guys uh, if you like the video please share it with your colleagues and also please do subscribe to my channel I'll uh, I'll come up with more videos in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers.